Hello friends. I welcome you to another podcast series with me. This time the theme of the series is beyond grief and loss. My intention is to help my audience build resilience. Resilience a life skill that equips us to deal with future challenges, misfortunes and setbacks in a more effective way. But since resilience is a life skill, you just don't become resilient in one go. So what I have planned is that to run a series of such mini podcast sessions wherein I will be sharing with you ideas, tips and insights that would help you build this muscle called resilience. So let's get started. Let's embark on a new journey and I call it the journey of self. In our session today, I would while you're listening to me, I would like you to also grab a pen and a paper, a notebook, whatever is convenient for you, along with a marker. You got one? Okay. Now on the book, draw five huge circles. You can draw these circles next to each other, up and down, whichever way you want it. Now in each circle, write and I'll give you five titles to it since you've drawn five huge circles. You can begin with the first circle, put inside, you need to write inside the circle. Write physical and mental health. Moving to the next circle, write career and money. Then to the next circle, write fun and happiness. Then to the next circle, write family and friends. And then finally, in the fifth circle, write significant partner or your spouse underneath relationship. Having written these titles in each of these circles, the title of our podcast session is to take stock, which means along with me, I'll help you with a technique that's one of the building and kind of a basic ways through which we build our resilience. So once you've written these circles, what I now want you to do is pause for a few seconds. Now as the title goes, we need to take stock of each of these circles and how we are doing in each of these. Basically, these circles are our life domains. And through this technique, what we're trying to do is to get an overview of how we're doing in our life currently as on now or as on today. So with these five circles, I now give you three more options. Now these options, you need to first take stock of the circle and underneath each circle, write whatever options you feel fit the best circle. So the three options are, option one is good, option two is just okay, and option three is need a major improvement. So with these three options, Spend some minutes on each circle, pause for a few seconds, think, reflect and pick one option that you feel fit the closest match to the title of the circle. What we are doing here is we are taking stock of our life as on today. The one key thing you need to remember while you do this activity is that there are no right and wrong answers, friends. So you don't have to be judgmental. There's no such thing called you pass or fail or there's a right answer or there's a wrong answer. No. It's simply that we are approaching our life and taking an honest view of what we are doing. We're just taking a stock of how we are in the present moment. So as an example, let me pick up the first circle 
the title of it is physical and mental health now underneath the circle out of the three options as on today if i am doing it for myself so i need to choose whether on my physical and mental health how am i doing as on today is it good is it just okay or do i really need a major improvement in either of my physical health or mental health and by god's grace i would say i would choose option 1 which is good similarly you could do this for other circles and there's no sequence you need to follow you can directly go to your significant other your partner and give it a choose an option whether it's how you're doing in your relationship is it good just okay or you need a major improvement or you can go with the flow by moving on to career and money fun and happiness family and friends and then finally to your relationship so do whichever way is convenient to you also remember that you can add more circles to it there's no hard and fast rule that you just confine yourself to just these five but since these represent the major domains of life this is a more convenient way you could add um within family and friends you can split it up so family you could just keep one circle for your kids uh one for your parents and sometimes you may want to skip it all together which is also fine so spend some time here think and give the three options to each of the circles once you're done with all the circles you will also be a bit surprised because it's not necessarily that we get good as an option for most of it it can be that none of it is good or it can also be that most of it is falling under the just okay option whatever the results what i want to tell you here and repeat that you are just taking stock of your life without any judgments so there's no an right or wrong answers these are answers responses just between you and your journal in which you are writing so you can be as honest with no censorship just go ahead and reflect and give yourself pick these three options and give yourself to each of the circles uh an insight as to how you're doing take stock of your life finally as we now come to the close of the session the call to action i leave you with is once you've given an option i mean out of the three you've chosen and you've labeled it for each of the circles you can think with one question i leave you with what could be the likely cause of any circle where you've where you've chosen an option of just okay or need a major improvement you can reflect and think friends what are the gaps why do you think there are gaps here because this is a point which will help you figure out that if the circles are not demonstrating a good and there's a scope of improvement and then there's a gap what could be done because once you take a stock of your life the next step to it is to understand where does the gap lie and then what we can do about it and this is exactly the starting point of any personal growth plan so take some time off reflect on this question and think about the gaps and what can be done to really fill in these gaps if you feel you need help you can write to me i in the comment section you have my coordinates and my email address where you could share if you want to and you feel convenient your options and your results with me and can also ask questions if you have any if you really think you yourself cannot really take the complete stock because what you're doing is just the first step the main personal growth journey begins 
when you understand where the gap is and then you build a plan in achieving and fulfilling the goals that will fill those gaps. So this is just the beginning. I hope you enjoyed this mini yet a very meaningful activity that we just completed today. I thank you so much for your time and for more details you can just check the comment box it has everything including the options and the coordinates shared there. I leave you now with reflection and insights and I'll talk to you soon.